Hello, thank you for showing interest in swim lessons at Fred and Dirt Pool. Um, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I'm just going to go quickly over how to register for classes right now during our reopening process. So I'm going to share my screen and take you to a, a simple browser. Um, you're going to search Crescent City and then go to the website for Crescent City. It's also crescentcity.org. From here, you can find swim lessons here or go to departments to Fred and Dirt Municipal Pool. This has information regarding our swim lessons as well as uh, when we what we're open for and that the services will be open for in orange tier. Right now, we're gonna talk about swim lessons. So we're gonna click on this icon. It's gonna provide us with all the information we need to register uh, ourselves or children up for swim lessons. A couple key things to notice, there are the bullet items there. Um, all beginning swim lessons will need an adult in the water with them. Due to COVID restrictions, our lifeguards will be teaching swim, swim lessons from the deck. Therefore, if your child is new to swimming and needs support during swimming, support floating, support being submerged and coming up and feeling supported, um, those are the levels where we're going to need an adult in the water. The other, the other item that's going to be really important is we're really counting on you as parents to uh, read the parent guide and understand what level your child is in. Uh, registration will be done here at City Hall by Public Works staff as our entire aquatics team is getting recertified to be lifeguards as well as swim instructors. And so they're not really able to help right now with the registration process, but we wanted to make sure to give enough time to get as many people registered as possible. If you have questions about that, there's a video further down on the page where we walk you through how to determine what level your child's in. Another item, class uh, sizes are also going to be small and limited. We have three week schedule available. We know over 180 people filled out the survey and are excited to get swim lessons. So we're going to do this first three weeks and then start another three week rotation after that. We're going to try and work through as many families and youth getting swim lessons before summer as we can. Another important item to note is the locker rooms are going to be unavailable right now. Uh, we ask that you come in, touch base at the front desk, walk through the locker rooms, put your things down on the deck, come back, rinse off on the showers that are on the deck, and then start your swim lessons, and that you leave through all the exits that are on the deck so that the next round of uh, swim lesson um, participants can walk through, and there's not a lot of um, uh, a crosswalk happening. It's just to create a safer environment for everyone. So we're really excited to bring everyone back. Let's quickly jump into the schedule and what's available. As you can see, uh, it opens in another window. Our red levels are the levels that will require a parent. Black um, levels do not. Uh, the blue sessions just remind you that even though it's an individual lesson, you will still need to know what level your child is in to determine if it's a, uh, a level that will need a parent in the water or not. So, for example, if your child is an otter, uh, swim school yellow, you'll need to be in the water. If they're a porpoise, swim school blue green, you do not need to be in the water with them. Now onto the most important part that is really different than any of uh, historically when any of you have uh, done swim lessons before. We are taking registration appointments at City Hall. Um, so what we need you to do is make a phone call at to 464-7483. Four eight three. Make an appointment to come down. Um, review that parent guide before you get here. You can print the registration forms before you come, or you can fill them out here. Uh, really important that if you have any questions regarding the level that aren't answered by either the parent guide or the video, that you get in touch with uh, Sarah uh, Alyssa Garcia or Sarah Enos, who are the aquatic supervisors, and have those questions answered before your registration appointment. 
We have amazing City Hall staff that are helping with registration, but I want to let you know that they're not part of the aquatics team. They're not lifeguards or swim instructors. So um, they're really here to help with the registration and payment process where our aquatics team is getting recertified. So with that, I'd like to go back to the swim lesson page, scroll down and show you at the bottom of the page right here are the registration forms that you can print and fill out. Remember, a uh, parent permission slip needs to be filled out for a minor and adult release if you're an adult looking for swim lessons. I really hope this answered any questions you may have. If not, please reach out to our aquatics team and we're happy to help you and we're really excited to have everyone back in the water. One more point I'd like to point out, I'm going to share my screen one more time, and that is if you would like ongoing updates regarding the next session of swim lessons or when we transition to a different tier and we and can provide other services, you can sign up for the pool updates mailing list, fill out this information, and we will be providing um, a newsletter update to provide information to you to your email. All right. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this helpful, and we look forward to getting you and your family back in the water.